Gale Kim. The round of 16. Gale Kim counters Madison Rain's shoulders down, and Gale Kim is moving on to the round of 16. For one, the journey ends. For the other, it just begins. More on Group TNA Originals in just a little bit, but right now it's time for action from Group Knockouts. It's Brooke one-on-one -on -one with Awesome Kong. Win and you're moving on. You're going to the round of 16. Lose and you're going home. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first from Houston, Texas, Brooke! Brooke has three points in the very first match in group knockouts. It was Brooke one-on-one -on -one with the current knockouts champion, Gayle Kim, and Brooke with a shocking upset of Gayle Kim. Brooke would then go on to be defeated by Madison Rain. So Brooke sitting at three points. She's tied with Awesome Kong. Win and advance to the round of 16, lose, and join Madison Rain on the sidelines. Gail Kim has advanced from group knockouts. What a great and major opportunity right here for either Brooks or Awesome Kong to pick up the win and get the three points. sounds of a former two-time knockouts champion, Awesome Kong. She also sits at three points with Brooke. Awesome Kong defeated Madison Rain in her first match and then was defeated by rival Gail Kim. As you take a look at what Awesome Kong did to Madison Rain, a victory over the five-time knockouts champion and then a back and forth affair with Gail Kim. And that's why Awesome Kong sits at three points, tied with Brooke in this must-win situation. It's game seven for Awesome Kong and Brooke here tonight in the World Title Series. How cool is it that we're kicking off Impact with the knockouts, Josh? I mean, the knockouts are closing out Impact main event. And right now, I don't think it's a better way to start with old sweet Brooke in there with the queen one herself, Awesome Kong. And our main event tonight will come from Group TNA Originals. It's Bobby Roode one-on-one -on -one with Abyss. And we'll see James Storm versus Eric Young. Both of those matches, very similar to this one. Win and you move on, lose, and go home. And you gotta know that that psych, that what you're talking about right there is playing on the psych of the mind of each competitor. Knowing that it is a win, go for it, lose, go home type situation. And look at Brooke, she knows it. Brooke trying to get after Awesome Kong here. You'll notice that Brooke's hand is still heavily bandaged, still has the splint, suffered from a broken finger in her first match in the World Title Series against Gail Kim. Then in the type of situation that Brooke is in right now, Pope totally agrees with the way she's tried to start this matchup. And that's being fast, that's being quick, that's trying to outmaneuver. And you know what? Just Go straight at Awesome Kong. It's a mentality if you're Brooke or Awesome Kong. This is to go back to a world that you're very familiar with in boxing. This is like the last round. This is an opportunity to get in. Do you put it all on the line here tonight? Yeah, you got to let it all hang out, as I like to say. And that's what Brooke appears to be trying to do. But you know, Awesome Kong, I don't think Awesome Kong is too worried. Yes, you spoke of the accolades of Brooke, you know, her championship reigns, but none of that matters. None of that matters, because right now, it's about the TNA World Heavyweight title. It's about the World Title Series. Brooke is writhing in pain as Awesome Kong is attacking the broken fingers of the Houston, Texas native. How much pain is Brooke in right now? And you know, some people may say, Josh, that that's just dastardly of Awesome Kong, but it's not. It's smart. That's smart strategy. Your opponent is hurt. There's a weakness. You attack it. Did you ever have an injury throughout your career that you didn't cover up, that you didn't put a target on, that you didn't bandage up in yeah. a match? Yeah, well, you know what? That's a great point that you make. There were several times that Pope went out to the ring, was injured, was hurting, but I never wanted to draw attention to it. Ooh. Even if the doctor said, you got to wrap up your ribs, you got to uh, bandage up your knee, it was something that I was not going to do because the opponent zooms in on it. 
I'm not saying that Brooke had a choice here. She was probably forced to compete by right. our physicians with that split on her finger to avoid further injury with the broken hand. I mean, if you yeah. don't take care of that, that can shoot all the way up Absolutely. your arm and, and do some serious damage. Yeah, I mean, it's for a protection. You and I both know that. I think the impact you and audience know that as well. It's for a protection, but to book Brooks credit, excuse me, to her credit, she knows that, hey, this is my only opportunity to make history. And look what she's doing. And Brooke, I think she was telling Awesome Kong that she was number two in her book. Brooke in serious pain here, trying to do anything she can to get some offense going against Awesome Kong. World title series has been absolutely incredible. As we march towards the round of 16 to find out who will eventually go on to become world champion. And Brooke creates separation, got caught though. The power of Awesome Kong, Boom! unmatched. I'm parallel in the knockouts division. I tell you, Brooke just doesn't look the same as she did. Cover here by Austin Kong. Black Sinezical doesn't look the same as she did in her match against Kao Kim, which she won. Yeah, absolutely, but you know, that was more, I would say, Ooh. of an even playing field. You got two of the fastest knockouts, innovative knockouts in the division with Ooh. Brooke and Gail Kim, but it's just a totally different situation being in there with Queen Kong. Everywhere I go, everyone is talking about the world title series. Who's going to leave as world champion? We invite you to join in on the conversation. Calm down for the first time in this match. And that's what it takes. Brooke, she's been going head, toe to toe, head to head with Awesome Kong, but she got to use her mind. She got to use her head. And look what she's doing, Josh. Potential submission maneuver here with the bridge. Brooke floats over. And Kong uses her power to her advantage. World title series already trending worldwide. Follow us via Twitter at Impact Wrestling. Brooke flies into the cover, hooks the inside leg, and Kong kicks out at two. Wow, Brooke just almost upset in Pope's opinion. And just so I stay gainfully employed, follow TNA President Dixie Carter at TNA Dixie. And Brooke trying to make her way up to the top rope here. Brooke trying to put away awesome Kong. This is what you have to deal with, right? Uh, you're yeah. in the ring with Kong. And she just dropped her like a sack of potatoes, and now she is gonna, boom! Try to flatten him, but she missed. Brooks gotta rely on her speed and agility here. Try to fight through the pain, try to get to the round of 16. Try to send Kong packing. Join Gail Kim in making history in the World Title oh. Series. She hit the butterface maker. Cover on Awesome Kong. Cover on Kong, who powers out at two. It didn't work. So what happens, partner, when you hit your signature maneuver? The butterface maker by Brooke and Kong picked out at two. Well, if you, I mean, if you're watching the same thing I'm watching, partner, you may not have noticed, but that's the second time. She hit it the first time off the mat. The second time she no went way. to the No way, Whoa. no way was Brooke gonna connect with that back suplex. How about some pancake with those potatoes? Kong's going for the choke slam. Brooke made a huge mistake, and it may cost Brooke an opportunity in the World Title Series. Kong has advanced. Your winner, Awesome Kong. Brooke went for a back suplex on Awesome Kong. And it backfired. Kong with the victory. And as we take a look at the knockout. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first from 